And for this week, we'll be taking a look at powering the African continent and in particular, the sub-Saharan African continent and the Southern African markets. But to help me do this and talk about power projects on the continent, I am joined by Chris Ellis. And uh, Chris uh, is the business director at Aqua Power. Chris, thanks so much for making the time to join us today. Uh, maybe just give us a sense of uh, what these projects are looking like. We know that in South Africa, we've embarked on our own independent power uh, projects. How how have they been received in the likes of the Southern African markets? Yes, the renewable program in South Africa has been internationally recognized as a top-notch program. So well done to South Africa for that. Now have been more than 2,100 megawatts connected to the grid. Uh, so there is now a lot of focus. Uh, there was a very high-level international uh, conference two weeks ago in Cape Town the CIREC uh, 2015, where it has been demonstrated as a model for the African continent to build on that mm -hmm. and to, to use the same mechanism uh, to bring power to uh, rural areas. And we all know that uh, there are enough areas where there's not enough uh, power mm -hmm. in the grid today. Yeah. Where are the hot spots in Southern Africa? Where are we seeing a lot of uh, traction in terms of mega projects in the power uh, space? Yeah, just to give you an idea of, of what's going on just in the neighboring countries. So in Namibia, Botswana, uh, Mozambique today, there are 500 megawatt to 1000 megawatt uh, lacking already. So what does that mean? Mm -hmm. uh, we compare that uh, about two to four million households of power is short today in, in, in each of these countries alone. Okay. So uh, these countries have embarked to bring new capacity onto the grid. For example, in Mozambique, we are developing right now a 300 megawatt coal-fired power station. Uh, on, the, on the other side, with all the renewable resources here in the region, mm -hmm. uh, the Northern Cape in South Africa, as well as uh, Namibia and Botswana, amongst the highest solar radiation in the world. Mm. So you've got a uh, massive resource which is today starting being harnessed, but we are just scratching on the surface in terms of what is possible in the future. To give you, give you an idea, the infrastructure in terms of manufacturing in South Africa is, is phenomenal. Mm. Uh, we're using what about that the infrastructure in other parts? You mentioned the likes of uh, Botswana and Namibia and Mozambique. We've got these huge gas fines. We've got coal-powered uh, projects there as well. To get this uh, power um, out of the ground in terms of uh, in Mozambique, the infrastructure there, how, how is that working out? So as you know, the, the infrastructure is very limited today. So to, to pull off a 300 megawatt project in terms of coal-fired, it is a massive uh, challenge. So we are developing that right now in the Tet province uh, at the Zambezi River. Uh, well, this is a really frontier marked uh, where, where we are in, uh, in terms of skills. Uh, we have to build up skills for people. Uh, there is, uh, as, as you may know, uh, in, in the northern Mozambique, there is world's largest um, high quality coal resources. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use those in, in Mozambique to uh, produce electricity for the industrial purposes and obviously for, for the Mozambicans itself. So it will be a major boost to the Mozambican economy over the years to come. Mm -hmm. Now, Chris, obviously you're a player in this particular industry. When you're going into these different jurisdictions, uh, being an energy player, are you partnering up with government? Uh, you know, what is the arrangement there in order to get these projects off the ground? So what we do generally is we negotiate with uh, government or government uh, entities uh, and a power purchase agreement which defines the, the term of uh, we delivering electricity over a period of say 20-25 years is a typical example and that gives us the horizon to line up the financing we need so we, we use generally uh, uh, commercial financing with development bank financing to make that happen mm -hmm plus our own equity. So all that is, is our contribution to um, build these power stations over a period of, of two to three years, depending on the technology, and then uh, providing the electricity, which is much needed as we know. Chris, thanks so much for coming in and giving us an understanding of the landscape, especially with these power projects in Southern Africa. That was Chris Ellers, and he is the business director at Aqua Power.